Oh, uh, that this marker stuff or whatever. Anyway, hey everybody, this is Retro Character Care Reviews. Uh, wishing I had time to do a Loki season two and uh, probably the Marvels uh, review uh, later this weekend. But for right now, uh, Invincible, because I wish my channel had enough budget to do the uh, title stinger, but I kind of can't. So this is going to be my uh, first review of the first two episodes. I just got off of seeing both of them. Um, there's not really much, it's more Fight of the Week kind of stuff, or Mark's End, in case you could tell, and, um, yes, his arch enemy from, I think, the comics, uh, I forgot the name that escapes me, but I know it was voiced by Sterling K. Brown, and that is a good get for the voice cast, like usual, this time around. Um, going into the premiere, um, I'll probably leave time for both episodes down below. That being said, uh, yeah, it's, uh, a big eye-opener, uh, you could definitely still feel, like, uh, the trauma of everything uh, Nolan did to Mark going into um, this season, more or less. And, uh, yeah, getting to the most obvious point. Uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, weighty. It's a very weighty premiere. It, it checked all the boxes. Uh, I think original Invisible fans of the comic needed to hear. Um, the, I guess, needle drops were about the same kind of, like, uh, mid-2000s casual that you were getting uh, first season around. Um... Shoutouts again to Stephen Young just giving this performance and more importantly this character more life than I think it ever could have been a live action performance. Still being said there. And um, so far going into this episode two, it's starting to have the same kind of vibe like this first season. Just gradually build stuff over time. Um, so much so even now um, the now now famous um, blood splatter um, title uh, grower over time with the uh, main title. Um, got replaced with, like, cracks and stuff, I guess, for, like, more of a multiverse thing going, um, with Sterling King Brown's performance of that character. Uh, again, sorry for the name escaping me. Um, much, much like last season, I'm gonna do a quick breakdown of just the premiere of the first episodes, and then, um, probably in the next couple of weeks, go back to, uh, basically talk about the whole season, like I'm gonna be doing now with Loki and, uh, with Marvels also later this weekend. So, that being said, uh, one big thing out of the way before we get to episode two, uh, this is more general news stuff. Um, yes, I am very much aware that SAG strike is finally over, thank God, and I have not yet checked, uh, all the productions they probably have gotten over time, um, with the whole AI business, so if anything, if there's an update article, I'll try to leave it down below, uh, in the coming weeks. That being said, uh, going into episode two, um, more comedy, more, um, Mark trying to get his bearings back into the game kind of stuff. Uh, the Guardians of the Globe are basically still on full rebrand mode. And uh, another canon relationship, I guess, in the comics is now becoming a thing. And if it's canon, that probably means Rex ain't going to have a good time. I know there's a lot more to Rex as time goes on in the comics as well. Um, I'll try to leave that in the full season spoilers uh, when I get to that, uh, probably in a few weeks. So uh, my overall thoughts uh, with both of these episodes... Very welcome, very needed. You can definitely tell it was worth the two years away. You could definitely tell they took their time getting the season off the ground. Um, kudos again to Robert Kerman and his team over at um, Skybound getting this off the ground with Amazon. That being said, um, I'm keeping this as non spoilerly vague. I know everyone's going to be doing reactions right now. So much of anything, the current guy I'm following, Timothy something. I don't know if it's him and his wife that is also doing um, a, a second season of Invincible. Um, I'll uh cards there as usual for that ultimately i want to know what you think and more importantly should i finally uh cave and get that diamond select uh mark figure to do a traditional action figure review uh style storytelling uh with the uh invisible story i really want to and also uh for the mortal Kombat one people out there yeah the game is getting a little stale multiplayer wise you can definitely tell um it, I, a lot of people in the community thinks it's more wb's and not really uh nether realms and, and i kind of inclined to agree with it because uh, you're having a 12 dollar paid fatality for a holiday theme i i it's definitely a wb move obviously uh, sidetracking to that, my overall thoughts of uh, Omni Man being in MK1 since we're here talking about it. Uh, J.K. Simmons did not sleep on the role, did not sleep on those performance. You could definitely tell uh, from the trailers alone and gameplay. Uh, and with some uh, house stuff I gotta check out of the way, that's where I'm gonna leave it here. Overall, it's another 9 out of 10 for both episodes. I'll do my general uh, score for when the full season drops uh, in the next coming weeks. So with that all being said, um, what did you think of Invincible Season 2 so far? Uh, were there a lot of characters I missed out on this 9 spoilers review? Please let me know in the comments down below. With that all being said, I am Archie Caravager here saying, um, yeah, I don't think my hand's invincible. <laughs> 
Again, I really wish I could do the stinger attack. Uh, anyway, end cards, or I guess end screen coming up here to my previous video here, which was my short on the new Ghostbusters trailer. Other hand here to my previous video. And uh, yes, the deepest V I think I have for a hoodie so far on the channel uh, to sub the channel with the notification down below. And with that all being said, I am Richard K. Review saying thank you once again to Amazon for finally giving uh, this season and more importantly, Invisible the time they need to continue uh, telling a near perfect one to one adaptation of the story. And like I said last season, the entire comic series from like I think every omnibus is on sale on Amazon, and it is very direct and is very, very beneficial to not just the superhero fans, but for the comic book community as a whole. Thank you as always. And uh, yeah, uh, how how many episodes in till Mark gets completely thrashed like last season? Like, like I, I, I'm gonna hazard a guess and say like maybe six in, hopefully. <laughs>